Hi guys, I'm Tiffany Dunham, author of The Eighth Pawn and Swat the Fly. And today I wanted to review The Night Lion. The idea for the story and the illustrations are by Barbara Mossman. And it was written by Wer Werner Ferber. Maybe I said that even close to right. I think it was originally written in German, but translated into English. It's about a little girl, Laura, who her parents tuck her in and they turn off the light, but that is when the scary things come out. And she is in particular scared of pirates. So she gets worried about it and calls to her lion, Otto, because Otto is not scared of pirates. So basically he's gonna be there to save her. Uh, so he gets, when he jumps off of his shelf, he turns into like a life-size lion, at least in her imagination, right? And they play games together and, you know, hide and seek, even though Otto is just trying to sleep. He's so sleepy. Um, and then they play games where they decide to play dress up. And Otto is not scared of pirates like Laura is, but he is very scared of dragons. So he dresses up like a pirate. And she's like, why would you do that to me? And she dresses up as a dragon who he thinks is a crocodile at first. She's like, no, I'm a scary dragon. He's like, oh, why would you do that to me? So they decide to protect each other if there are any pirates or dragons that come at night. And so they go to sleep and all is well. And the next morning, there Otto is, just a teeny tiny stuffed lion. Uh, so it's a cute story. I don't particularly love or hate it as a parent. My kids really like it. My two-year-old has selected it on his nights for bedtime. My three, almost four-year-old really likes it. And when I asked my five, almost six-year-old today, um, she's like, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's, it's, I go as good as the button book. And she's like, yeah, I mean, not better, but, but it's just, it's a nice story. Kids would like it. It's a nice story. <laughs> so there you go. That's their opinion. Uh, if you have a little one that likes a story, you could check it out. Uh, some of the translations are not as American English friendly. Like it says bedclothes instead of sheets or blankets or whatever. So there is that, but still kind of a cute find. If this was helpful, you can share it and please like and subscribe. Thanks.